What's up there LEGO fans? Welcome back, Alex here. In this video, we are doing kind of a more casual review. Uh, we are reviewing these new LEGO City Fire and Rescue sets. These all come out uh, the beginning of the year, January 1st of 2024. There are five sets here, and I'm gonna just go over each of these, kind of show off some of their features, things that I like, things that maybe I don't like about each one, and you can make your own choices as to whether these are something that you want to buy for your collection or for your kids or grandkids. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and start with the big set here. This is the uh, fire station, set number 60414. It is $80. And it has four instruction books here. So yeah, four people can build this at the same time. Uh, five minifigures here, and you get a doggy, which is always kind of nice. And what I like about all of these sets, and this is for all of them actually, is they all come with their own hairpiece and helmets. So depending on what their job is, um, if they need to go to work, they can ditch their hairpiece and get their helmets on and get to work and have their heads protected. So right now I don't have them in rescue mode. They're all kind of just hanging out and saying hi for this uh, review. Now, as far as the building goes, uh, this is what you see is what you get. So there's a little bit of some accessories here. You have a drone, you have this little can that's on fire so they can, you know, respond to something there. Uh, this is the coolest part of the fire station and that is the uh, ladder truck. So this thing is pretty cool. It's very robust and it's implied that it has a water tank because of the water bulging uh, elements that are on the side, I guess. Um, but it looks like it can pull a trailer. There's no trailer that comes with it, but uh, I guess that's good to see that that's possible. Uh, has these compartments there on each side as well. And the coolest feature about this thing is that, well, depending on the rescue you're going on, what if you don't need a ladder? That's okay, because it's modular. You can just take the ladder off and replace it with this water cannon. Oh, so let's pop that on there. And it does move, well, I thought it moved up, but maybe not, there we go. Hey, there we go, there are, and it moves around like that. So I'm gonna uh, shoot these little blue things out that are supposed to be water, and how we do that, we just push down here at the back. Let's see if I can do this and you can see it fly across the room. Ooh, okay, I'll find that later, hopefully. Uh, there's two of them in there. Be careful, they are easy to lose. In fact, almost all of these sets have little shooters in them, kind of like this, uh, that fire out those really small, um, oop, I lost it, there it goes, right here. Uh, these elements right here, they shoot them out pretty good. And this is not new, Lego's done this for quite some time. Uh, so it's kind of a fun little play aspect of each of these sets that they have. And, uh, but yeah, just be aware, they shoot, they can hit you in the eyes, so, and they can get lost pretty easy, so just be aware of how those work. Now, um, unfortunately, this is the only vehicle with the set, although it has two bays, um, it has pictures implying that this is, you know, that bay one here is for the, f the ladder truck, and here's the fire truck over there, and bay two, and up here we have a landing pad for a helicopter. Um, but it doesn't come with those, it just comes with the ladder truck. So if you want to fill the bays uh, with the other sets, then you'll have to spend more money. So here's the helicopter, for example, which I think fits okay. It's, I mean, it's quite a big, but it does fit there. But I'm from a generation where when you bought a fire uh, station, you got additional vehicles. You got a fire engine, you got a fire truck, you got a helicopter, and that was all included. And now we don't get those, we just get this one engine and it's 80 bucks. So uh, the value is not there for me. Now, if that were my only issue with it, fine, whatever. But it's not, check this out. So if we, oh, did I show this off? Let me show you guys the, the doors here. So open up the door here, uh, and this is how they open. I guess it's okay that you move them up like a very old fashioned uh, door and they lock there at the top. I kind of like the ones that slid up and down. Those were a lot more sleek, but you know, it is what it is. But we do have a pull. They slide down here. And yes, this is kind of a sleeper room up here. Turn that thing around and we can see where uh, this guy right here in his fire pajamas sleeps until a call comes in. So it's implied that he can lay there until something happens and he can get into his gear and slide down and go into action. Uh, now, the back here. Let's say we want to park this big fire engine in the bay. Let's do that right now. Uh-oh, look at this. It's already hitting the bay door. It's not even halfway in. Isn't that terrible? And that's not even the worst. Watch this. Let me get this truck. Let's say you buy this set and you want to park your awesome 4x4 in there as well. First of all, this thing barely fits. I mean, it's scraping each side. That's as far as that goes. Ah, uh, that's it. I don't know. I think that's kind of disappointing, honestly. As I, let me know what you guys think. Should they 
be able to at least fit more than half of the vehicle in there. I kind of feel like they should. Um, that's kind of disappointing. Uh, and I think kids are not going to really like that, especially for a price tag of $80 have the 4x4 truck and uh, fire rescue boat here. Set number 60412. This is $35. Comes with three minifigures. Uh, two firefighters and this guy who creates fire, apparently. He's got this campsite going on and apparently lost control of the matches or whatever and he's got some fire. So he's got to call these guys who have to do some off-roading to get to him. And I gotta say, I love the looks of this truck. I think it looks really tough. These wheels are huge. It's as tall as a minifigure. It's so cool. One thing I don't like about this thing is the fact that it's got one of these hoses with the studs on it. They're very short. I kind of felt like uh, with the size of this thing, maybe they would have had one of those strings that's a lot longer. Because as it stands right here, like, there, see, look at that. It just breaks off so easy, unfortunately. But anyway, that's my only complaint, which if that's my only complaint, I guess that's not bad. It could be worse, right? Uh, the fire boat is okay. I mean, it's your typical motor boat with some accessories on the inside and it connects to this really robust trailer, which has also got some off-road wheels to it. Very, very nice. Uh, so yeah, that again, $35, not a Bad value, has got three instruction books. So yeah, three people can build at the same time. Then we have these two smaller sets here in the back. I kind of already introduced the helicopter. This is very simple. Uh, set number 60411. Uh, it is $10, has this single minifigure here, a little accessory of fire. And uh, that's really about all it is. It's got those two little shooters there that I mentioned before. And it's implied that it has, I guess, a water tank on it. So uh, there you go. And then we have the four plus set, set number 60410. This is also 10 dollars. Now it's a four plus set because this is for the little ones. It's a much simpler design, fewer pieces, bigger pieces are used and it does not have any of those shooters so you don't shoot your eye out, right? Two minifigures with this thing. We have this uh, fire lady here and uh, we have this guy who has overdone his hot dog and that flame is going nuts and she's got to come to the rescue and put that out. And finally, we have probably my favorite set of the five and that is the airplane here. This thing is really cool looking. And not only is it cool looking, but it has some pretty amazing features, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So this is set number 60413, uh, and it is gonna retail for $55, which I guess is reasonable. Uh, it's got three minifigures here, all uh, firemen here. And we have a pilot and we have a, I guess a co-pilot. So this thing actually has uh, two spots here. We have the pilot area here and we have kind of a, I guess a gunner position, <laughs> but that's not for guns. It's for the water cannons on either side of this thing, which is pretty darn cool. Now I'm gonna try my best here. Let me switch hands here on the camera. Sorry for the wiggling there. So we have some, a foliage here that's on fire, right? It's like, oh no, we gotta put the fire out. So they load up into the airplane and they have to put it out. And what's really cool about this thing is this thing drops water on it, okay? So it's got this feature here at the bottom. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand, guys. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can get it to put out the fire. We're gonna drop the water on it. Here we go, ready? Oh, I got one. Okay, let's do it again. Ooh, missed it that time. Here we go, one more time, one more time. Ah, I got it, okay. And, ooh, I missed it that time, come on. Oh, am I out already? Oh, nope, there we go, I got it, I got it. Oh, I missed it, am I out? I think it holds seven, oh man, I'm a terrible pilot and my accuracy is horrible. Anyway, so it drops these elements right here, uh, these circular uh, two by twos, and they, uh, they load into the top of the airplane, really, really easy. It holds up to seven, it does come with seven of them. So you load them up in there and you can only drop one at a time. You can't just drop the whole load, which I, I guess it's okay. Um, it's kind of a cool little uh, trigger that you have there on the side and it's pretty darn efficient. And unfortunately, I'm not a very efficient firefighter because the fire is still going there and I gotta go find these. So uh, anyway, but I thought that was really cool. And if that wasn't the coolest thing, check this out. This guy right here has this jet pack and he put it on him and he actually flies through the air with those little water cannons. And I can't think of a cooler job out there that exists where you're putting on a jetpack, flying through the air and putting out fires. Wow, what an amazing job this gentleman has. You, sir, are a true hero. Anyway, guys, that is a quick look at these new city fire sets. Let me know what you guys think about these things. If this is something that interests you, I would definitely want to know your opinion. Again, these come out on the first of the month of January 2024. I can't believe it's that year already. Um, I also want to say a big thanks to the Lego Group for providing me these copies for a review on my channel. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.